python if elif else so at first we are discussing this python if statement so the statement syntax will be something like this so if test expression statement or statements so you know that whenever we are having multiple statements so we shall maintain this indentation and you shall go on writing so that is no curly brace there is no begin and end for the block begin and block end marker only the indentation will make us feel that these statements are under this if test expression block so where whenever we will be writing this at the end we will be putting one colon there so python if statement flowchart so test expression is there so control will be coming down the condition will be checked if the condition is true then body of if will get executed then it will come out if the condition is false then this body of if will be bypassed next we are going for python if else statement syntax so if test expression body of if else body of else just remember this here there will be one colon here there will be one colon whenever we shall give this colon and press enter automatically the indentation will be taken by the respective editor so body of if and body of else must be from the same indentation and this if and this else must be all of the same indentation here so python if else flowchart so test expression the control will come and this expression will be tested if it is true body of if will get executed if it is false then body of else will get executed and then the control will merge and go for the next statements in the code let us come to this so python if elif that is our else statement syntax so here you see here the keyword is our elif so if test expression body of if we are having this elif test expression body of elif and then else then the body of else remember colon is there colon is there and colon is there and just look at the indentation in which we are going to write so this elif is actually denoting the else if actually but in case of python in case of shell programming unix shell programming we usually write this one as elif so test expression of if if the condition is true directly the body of if will get executed and control will come out if the condition is false that is if the test expression of if is false then it will go for this test expression of elif if the condition is true then body of elif will get executed if it is false then body of else will get executed and then the control will merge we can have this python nested if statements so we can have a if elif else statement inside another if elif else statement this is called nesting in computer programming so indentation is the only way to demark the level of nesting and which statement is belonging under which block that will be denoted by only by this indentation so let us go for one practical demonstration for the better understanding in this particular demonstration we are going to demonstrate the use of if elif and else block so let us go for the detailing if after if we will be writing one condition and then we are supposed to put one colon and whenever we are putting a colon then the next line will be coming with the indentation that means in this particular indentation we are having one two three four blank spaces and that will indicate that this particular statement this particular block will be under that conditional if so when the condition will be true the control will be coming to this block else if we are talking it as else if we are calling it as else if but it is e l i f so different languages are having different syntax to write this one so it is e l i f there is a else if after else if we are putting another condition and then we are having one colon here the next block will get executed when this particular condition will be true and control will be coming to the else block if the condition against the if statement is false here so when this particular condition is false as well as when the condition was false then the con then the control will be coming to this l if block so here we are having one uh, two conditions are there connected with the and and then if the both conditions are true then the control will be coming to this block for execution otherwise the control will come to this block in this if elif and else elif and else these blocks are optional we may or may not give else will be the last block after else we cannot have the elif but this if is mandatory if we write any conditional statement if is mandatory but elif and else they are not mandatory 
Well, here we have used two elif blocks, but we can have multiple such, but else will have a single block here. That means we cannot have another else. So let us go for the execution. You can find that we are asking the age of a person and then using the input function, we are reading the age from the keyboard and then we are converting it to the integer and then it is getting assigned onto the variable age. And then if age is less than 5, then this condition, this particular statement is going to get printed as the condition is becoming true. So let us go for the execution. You can find better. So I'm putting the age like 4 here. You see it is printing too young because 4 is less than 5. This condition is true. So control is coming down here and rest part will remain unexecuted, unreachable. Next, if I go for the execution, if I put the value say 5 exactly, then kindergarten is getting printed. So kindergarten is getting printed because this line is getting the control. Now we shall put one age in between 5 to 17. So let us go for say 10 here. Say you see go to 5 grade because 10 minus 5 is 5. So that 5 is getting printed. So control came in this block here. Now we are going for the next one. So if we put the age say 20 here, if you put the age say 20, then it is going for go to college. It is going for go to college. So in this way, you are getting this idea that how these conditional statements are getting executed. So let us go for another example where you will be using the nested if. That means one if block within another outer if. In this program, we will input a number and check if the number is positive or negative or zero and display an appropriate message. This time we will use the nested if. So at first we are asking the user to input a number and the number will be converted to the float type and then that will be assigned to the num. If num is greater than or equal to 0, that means if the num is greater than or equal to 0, then we are going for this operation. So when the number is greater than or equal to 0, so we are coming down to this block and here we are checking whether the number is 0 or not. If the number is 0, we are printing this message 0, otherwise we are printing the message negative number. So if the condition is false, then control will be coming directly to this else block and here the negative number will get printed. Here you can find that this if else block is within this indentation of the outer one. So that means when this condition is true, then control will be coming to this if else nested one. So this is our nested if. So you are getting this idea that indentation is playing a very vital role in our Python coding. So let me go for the execution here. We are putting the value say 0. So as a result of that, a uh, num greater than equal to 0 is getting true. So now it will control will come to this line. Number is equal to is equal to 0 is true here because I put the value 0 and then print 0. So 0 has got printed. Rest code has remained unreachable, unexecuted. Let us go for another time execution with the value of 5. We can find that 5 is greater than or equal to 0. The condition is true. 5 is equal to, is equal to 0. The condition is false. So it is coming to this positive number here. So that's why the positive number string has got printed. So now if I go for this minus 10, you can find that negative number is getting printed because minus 10 greater than or equal to 0. The condition is false. So control will come directly to the else part and the negative number will get printed. So in this way, we have demonstrated that how to use the if, elif and else block and what is nested if and how to write that one with the proper indentation. Thanks for watching this video.